at IDEV 2025 in Istanbul. We are now on the booth of uh, Turkish company STM with the general manager as uh, the company is showcasing for the very first time the future logistics support vessel for the Portuguese Navy. Uh, it is a very uh, interesting and important uh, project and uh, we're going to find out more. Uh, good morning, sir. Can you please uh, well tell us about this uh, very important program for uh, for STM? Thank you. First of all, welcome to IDEF and also to STM Boot. As you have mentioned, it's really an important project for STM. It's order planning ship and risk support ship for Portuguese Navy. We have signed the contract by the end of 2024, as as you all know. There will be two ships built in Turkey in a private shipyard. The other ship it will be the other shipyard in Turkey. Actually, the, all the necessary steps are being taken and hopefully we will deliver it on time with, with a very good performance. The main idea of this ship is that it's really completely designed according to the Portuguese Navy requirements. So, And we also think that it's a very good ship in that sense, in its class, let's say. So we really hope that it will not be staying with Portugal, but some other countries will be interested and some are already interested in such kind of ships. So. Well, I noticed on the other side it's showing a lot of vehicles uh, below deck. That's quite unique. Uh, what is, was this a specific Portuguese Navy requirement and did you adapt you know, your design to fit their needs? Well, actually, first of all, I should mention that STM is an engineering company. So we are not trying to sell our designs. But we are trying to make designs according to the customer's needs. So it was the same scenario with the Portuguese Navy. We got their requirements and so what they want. And all the design was started from scratch according to their requirements. So that's why we really believe that they, the design that has been the result of this really covers all the requirements by the Portuguese Navy. And which uh, Turkish uh, shipyard uh, will be building it this? Will be, it will be a private shipyard. It will be other shipyard located in Istanbul. We are going to build two of them there in the same shipyard. All right. And uh, so this is, uh, do you believe this is just a first step for uh, Turkish ship design, shipbuilding industry, logistic vessels, but maybe in the future we could see more complex vessels like corvettes or frigates for the European market? Yes, actually for Turkish Navy and for other customers we have been building such kind of ships already before. But this, with this one it will be the first export of Turkish shipbuilding industry to a NATO and European Union member country. So in that in this sense we really believe that it will open new doors for us. And hopefully in the future we will have other customers from the Europe or other NATO countries. Okay, well, very interesting uh, design. Uh, in front of it, you're showcasing uh, a corvette, LMS Batch 2, for the Royal Malaysian Navy. Uh, what is the current status for this project? Okay. Well, the, uh, this ship is also designed according to the requirements of the Royal Malaysian Navy. Uh, the hull is based on other class corvettes, but the configuration is really different and made according to the requirements. So there will be three ships built. They will all be built in Istanbul. Actually, in very little, with a very little shift, they will be nearly produced simultaneously. So the first ship is already in a good shape, let, let's say. But we have made the kill laying ceremony of the second ship just two months ago. And the third one is already some blocks of it is being produced. So. Uh, lastly, you are showcasing uh, MRSS. Uh, let's get closer to that model. Yeah, sure. This is your design for uh, the multi-role uh, support ship uh, project of uh, Malaysia. You unveiled this model uh, recently at uh, Lima uh, Air Show and the Naval Defense Show. Uh, what can you tell us about your design proposal? Okay, as I have mentioned already, STEM is really a very capable engineering company who can make very flexible designs according to the customer's requirements. And as you can see, this ship is also has a very special design. Uh, mainly uh, just depends on the requirements made by the Royal Malaysian Navy. So it will be a quite big ship, around 150 meters, with a lot of different capabilities like two helicopters and, and so on. So we really think and believe that it covers the all requirements of Malaysian Navy, but also in the future some other navies might also be interested in such kind of designs, or if some other thing is needed, we can modify it easily, such kind of a ship. So.
And uh, the status, there, there, it's an ongoing uh, competition. Uh, when do you expect uh, there could be a decision? Do, do we know? Well, actually, we don't know the exa exact time of it. But as you have mentioned, it's still an ongoing competition. So. All right, very well. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.